Um, anyway, this next song I wrote uh, during the last election, and I thought I was writing it for that election, but I didn't know it's probably more pertinent for this election. Um, we, uh, when we were on the eve of electing our first African-American president of the United States, which we did, and no one can take that away from us, um, there were uh, stories um, on the news. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but um, Barack Obama was, was nominated as the first black presidential nominee to the DNC. Um, on the 45th anniversary to the day of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. And um, the piece that I had never heard, along with um, Irma Thomas, one of my favorite singers ever in recording his, recorded history, is Mahalia Jackson, the gospel singer. And I knew that, that Dr. King had asked Mahalia to come and be the voice of the movement, the spiritual voice of the movement. But what I didn't know until I saw it on CNN was that... <clears throat> On that day, uh, Dr. King intended to speak uh, at the Lincoln Memorial on the, all the betrayals and the ways in which white America had betrayed black America. And he was going to talk about the bad check that white America had written to black America. And he was going to end it there. He was going to drop the mic there. And uh, it was Mahalia Jackson who called out to him. And she said, tell them about your dream, Martin. Tell them about the dream. And uh, it struck me as such a powerful thing that I had never heard, of course, that it was the voice of a woman who said, you can't leave them in, in the grief and the pain. You must give them vision for the future and how it can be. And it was amazing to me to know that it was this powerful African-American woman who inspired King to give us the speech that we all know and we all love. And so I was fascinated with the idea of making Mahalia sort of the, the American muse throughout history, sort of whispering to John Adams and Thomas Jefferson and Lincoln and each generation helping us remember these truths that we believe are self-evident, but some people need reminding. So um, I wrote this song, and if you know it, you can sing along with me. I know some of you uh, already want to, and it's called <laughs> Tell Them About the Dream, and I thank you so, so much for being here this evening from the bottom of my heart. There's a short distance between the world as it should be and the world as it is. I've tried to talk to you through history. I am the muse. I whispered to John Adams, here's your vision. Up to you, and he said, Jefferson, please pull through. 